Good afternoon, this is Pete again at Bish's RV of the Quad Cities, and we're with you today with a 2023 Grand Design Reflection 150 Series fifth wheel unit. This is a model number 295RL. Again, this is coming to you by way of Bish's RV of the Quad Cities. Okay, it's the 150 Series, and I like to think of that primarily as being right within striking distance of half ton towability. In a case like this, we have an unloaded vehicle weight of 8,995 pounds and fully loaded with everything you'd ever want to throw into that. Gross vehicle weight rating amounts to 10,995 pounds. So, like I say, depending how you load it or depending on the capability of your half ton truck, you might well be within half ton towability. Okay, down underneath here, we have a 50 amp charge controller. Why? Well, that's because we have the 150 series solar package with the solar panel already installed up above. Motion activated light right underneath here in the four store. All kinds of other goodies in there too. Coming around towards the back side. This is a slide out floor plan. Well, obviously I would hope you'd notice that right when we come around the, the side here. Okay, take a quick look at the off side. Twin 30 pound LP tanks in the sides. One to each side there. Ta-da, there you go. All right, we're gonna open things up here. Look at these big meaty doors. They're not wimpy, wompy, floppy things. Not like a wet potato chip or something. No, those are solid doors and they're very nice with the slam latches on it, all steel slam latch. The whole nine yards. It's grand design. What did you think you were gonna find? Of course. Okay, here we go with our electric leveling. Electronic leveling control panel right there. Can be set to auto level if you wish. It's tire link prepped so you're easily able to set the unit up with tire links so you can monitor your tire pressures from the cab while you're going on the fly if you want. All right, we've got coax connections up here for park cable. All kinds of flexibility with your coax connections there. I see three of them on the left and one on the right. Uh, we've got our pump switch over on the far right. And right in the middle there, you've got your um, exterior camp shower. And like I say, if you're not a nudist or something, you don't have to use it as a camp shower per se. Think about washing off your bicycle or your feet after you've had a day at the beach, you got a lot of sand on your sandals or what have you not. That's another great use for that external shower. All right, here we have our valve configuration business. And it's very easy to follow because, well, you know, you've got that little chart tells you just where to position things so whatever you're doing. Takes the guesswork out of it. Uh, hey, but you know what? You don't have to worry so much about uh, winterizing your unit because remember with Bish's RV, you're going to be a member of Diamond Club and, well, we'll take care of that for you. All right, city water is the on the uh, left inlet there and the one on the right, that'd be your black tank flush and your valve configuration set up right there so that your valves are contained up above and within from uh, the uh, elements from outside. So that's going to give you some extended season peace of mind. Okay, hot water heater. We're talking continuous hot water. That's your on-demand hot water heater, Furion unit. Thought we'd take a quick peek in there. That's a slightly new, relatively new, not totally new, but a slightly new development in that general direction there. All right, we're talking 50 amp electrical service in here, not the wimpy 30 amp size with the full 50 the full monty right there with the twist lock cord set on there approximately a 20 foot cord that goes with it down underneath we've got your tandems on there and those are nitrogen filled radial tires on the brushed aluminum rims and on the shackles down below that's the cre 3000 shackles well you would expect to have quality shackles you know on this unit right so there you go Proof in the pudding. All right, coming around past the off side to the back side, you are prepped for the easy addition of a rear vision backup camera. We we'll go right there. Full walk on roof, crowned walk on roof with access from the rear ladder as you have right there. Now, down underneath, class three hitch, and there's your four uh, electrical connection right there, four flat electrical connection. You can tow a modest sized uh, unit behind you of some sort like a boat if you want, or a bike rack, what have you. Whatever you would like to use. Bear in mind your gross combined weight ratio if you're using your half ton truck, though, so you don't exceed your weight ratings in that respect either. Okay, on over to where, well, it's the business end. Here's where the fun happens, it's on the campsite here. Dual awnings, we have the second awning, and that's an option that's installed in this particular unit. So I thought I'd bring that to your attention. And also, 
Here's where you're prepped for the easy addition of a um, external TV set on there. Two awnings, all of them are 12 volt awnings with the rear LSD lighting, strip lights in behind it, way cool, way neat. Hey, you know what? Something I did forget about down underneath here. These are genuine Goodyear tires, Goodyear brand tires there. They're not like the Ying Yang Sure Pops or whatever used to be put on some of the lesser units back when. Nope, these are the real deal. And by the way, those are Kurt axles with ABS. So you're equipped with ABS on this unit. Way cool, this particular one. Okay, here we have three-step folding aluminum staircase there with a the fold-away D-assist handle on the side, pebbled finish window on the entry door, external speakers too. We're gonna to talk a little bit about the entertainment center once we get into the inside. Down under, I believe there we've got an LP quick connect under there. If you wanted to add an external grill, griddle or whatever, there you go. I can't get over these beefy doors like that. So cool. And with the magnet grabs, that's awesome. All right, plenty of storage down underneath through here. Battery cutoff switch right to the right there. And again, motion activated lighting throughout the whole unit, just about the whole unit anyway, all over the place. Okay, let's step onto the inside of this 295 RL unit. With another reminder that this 2023 model is presented to you by Bish's RV of the Quad Cities. On to the inside, we've got the River Rock interior decor. River Rock interior decor is shown here. Other decor options may be available. Simply inquire about which option is on the particular unit you might be looking at. Okay, the hybrid dinette. This is kind of a by-demand type of a thing that has evolved. And, well, there it is. You've got the movable ottoman right over there. And then the table and chairs over towards this side. Single pedestal table on there. Nice tall slide out, super slide out over here. So you're not gonna be whapping your head on there unless you're Wilt the Stilt Chamberlain or something like that. Okay, here's the theater seats. Good times. We got the lighting on on there, but you can also use the heating and massage functions to boot. Over to the back, fold out sofa with you have uh, outlets to either side of the sofa, plenty of storage up overhead. Okay, let's start with the entertainment. Let's open that booger up right here. All right, by Jensen, AM, FM, CD, and I think it's DVD. I'd have to double check on that. You do have HDMI inputs on there as well as USB and LSD and RCA and MCI. Okay, whatever. And... Uh, the whole works. Don't forget you can Bluetooth in your favorite sound source in there as well. Flat screen HD TV will round things out for your entertainment center here. And that's, I think it's in the ballpark of 36 to 40 inches, somewhere in that general vicinity. You can double check that with the brochure. Down underneath, as elegant and useful as it, useful as it is elegant, something like that. Bottom line, it looks great and it feels great because it puts out about 5,000 BTUs of heat in addition to looking cool and guess what we don't see or hide and seek or something like that there are no floor registers per se at least not down here that's because it's hidden down underneath the island there for the heat register so you don't have to worry when you're cleaning up and sweeping the dust around that it's going to wind up getting swept into the floor register and next time the furnace kicks on you have a big dust storm kind of like pig pen from the peanuts cartoon series or something uh Anyway, oh yeah, over to here, motion activated lighting. That is really handy in here in the um, pantry. Just open it up, light comes on. You don't have to fumble and fill around, try and guess where's the light switch, blah, blah. It's right there. Okay, this is gonna be a domestic sized or residential sized microwave oven on there with the brushed stainless steel exterior finish. And then down to here, we've got our high output Furion three burner range top lit controls that'll change colors when you turn them on and then down below to the oven with the oven light as well okay closing that up let's talk a little bit about the island sink i'll give you a quick view that you don't usually get with a lot of units and let's just work things around over to here how about like that does that kind of give you the idea what you're looking at from the backside 
where the rubber meets the road on the island there. And we're going to roll back the husband beater here. Uh, I don't know why they call it that. I, I've got to come up with a better name than that, I think. Anyway, stainless steel recessed mounted sink, easy to keep it clean, high-rise faucet, and that's with the spray attachment nozzle on it as well. Here we'll put the uh, um, sink cover back down. Okay. Over to here, think plenty of counter space here because this is your prep area here for, well, for just whatever you're gonna be doing. I would assume it'll be kitchen type of work. Let's not forget the uh, refrigerator, not like we almost did earlier. Uh, swinging open the refrigerator is gonna be a 12 volt refrigerator. It's gonna be in the ballpark of not quite 10 cubic feet in size. There, I'll back up here and give you a good wide angle view of the whole works on that particular refrigerator on this particular unit. Bear in mind that sometimes I will install some different equipment on there, so you do want to inquire about things like that. Uh, speaking of options, as long as we're panning around, looking around on here, we've got the uh, several packages on here. The Reflection 150 Series Peace of Mind package. We've got the Reflection 150 Series Ultimate Power package. We've got the 150 series Arctic Four Seasons Protection Package. And of course that solar package we spoke of earlier with the solar panels on the roof. Uh, Goodyear tires are also down below like we had just talked about earlier in the curt axles, etc. That'll round out the options on this particular unit. Okay, swinging over through here, motion activated lighting couldn't be in a better place than here where you step in and wah. No, I didn't really rehearse that, but it's kind of fun. Okay, yeah, motion activated lighting in the bathroom, and that's really where you're gonna want that. Okay, here's your China porcelain foot flush marine grade stool and the lavatory if you're from Britain. Otherwise, it's the sink. There we go, we'll take a look at that, how well portioned that is, plus the medicine cabinet and a secondary light in here too. So you got plenty of lighting in your John. I, I mean the can, no, no the loo, the, the, the biffy, no. The turlet. Anyway, there's your full shower surround. It goes all the way up to the skylight overhead. About an eight, maybe nine inch hop from the floor up and into that shower, should you wonder. Sliding tri-glass door on the shower as well. Okay, over to here. Here we've got queen size bed with generous angled. And that's kind of something they've been doing new lately is the angled uh, bedside table sort of a thing. It's kind of a Kind of a neat, cool thing. Kind of groovy, far out. All right, we have a vent, crank up vent up on the roof here. And there's your TV backer location, incidentally, where you're prepped for the easy addition of a bedroom TV and an iris window right below it there. Sconce lighting to the sides here. And you do have that little green thing right up over the top of the middle of the bed. That's gonna be your USB charge ports there for charging your cell phone at night. Okay over here to the closet open the closet up and wah there we go again <laughs> yeah i know i'm easily amused with those motion activated lights right anyway little shirt closet a little taller than a shirt closet actually with plenty of storage down underneath to boot and that is going to be a floor register so just so you know i wasn't really lying to you there was there was uh no floor registers in the main part of the coach this particular unit um, the 150 series, they tend to put the one floor duct in under here uh, due to construction needs. Okay, we got sconce lighting over to the sides there. I guess we mentioned that anyway. We'll just take a quick peek around over to here. Those are going to be modernistical roller shades so they don't go snapping, flapping and uh, all over the place like the kids used to do when I was a kid. I was a problem kid back then, but anyway. Um, that's the story for another day. <laughs> I think we pretty well covered just about everything inside this 150 series fifth wheel. Uh, Grand Designs Reflection 150 series fifth wheel. Right in the ballpark of a half ton truck, by the way. Of course, I think I said that a few times. Uh, this 2023 unit has been brought to you by Bish's RV of the Quad Cities. We're going to wish you happy trails. Thanks for watching. See you around.